the reason why I don't party. Now, everybody asks me like, Steph, what do you do for fun? Why don't you party? Why don't you go out? Why don't you, you know, Friday night, let's go out to the bar. Let's go have some fun. The answer is no. Like, yes, I like to have fun, but do I like to party? No. And that could be from me being an introvert, which I don't portray. Like, a lot of people that see, like, my public speaking events or, like, come and, you know, see me speak and stuff like that. Like, it looks like I am straight up extrovert. I want to be around people 24-7. And no, I like my peace and quiet. I like having my alone time here and there. I am I like to say I'm a hybrid. I'm an introvert and I'm an extrovert. When I need to be an extrovert at like networking events, at public speaking events, whatever the case may be in regards to the real estate side of things, or if I just, you know, go to a birthday party or something small like that or a family event, like I can be an extrovert, but I need to recharge and, you know, I need my peace and quiet. So that's where the introvert comes in store but I realized like there's so many people especially my age you know I'm 23 but within like the 20s mark and past 20s 30s whatever people in their 40s still party they go out to the bar they drink like crazy you know I don't have any desire to do that I am truly blessed that God has given me the desire to just focus on fulfilling the kingdom and his purpose that he's put inside of me and that also like last year I didn't have a strong desire but like earlier this year I prayed I said Lord give me that desire that you have put into me right when I started my real estate journey like because I know once I started I had the strongest desire no days off motivation determination everything discipline everything I was so strong and then I slowly started to decline because the reason I was declining is I didn't really know my why I didn't really know my purpose you know it started to drift off a little bit you know I wanted to show people that you don't need a college degree in order to become successful which is still like you know I'm in the process of showing people that I'm not per se a success yet like in regards to my eyes because there's so much more I want to do but you know, as time goes on, your purpose may change, your vision may change and what God has given you. And that's where it changed for me. And that's where I made that prayer earlier this year of like, Lord, please give me that desire. Please give me guidance. You know, what's my purpose, all that, so on and so forth. And he has given me that, you know, you ask and you shall receive, you know, make sure you're praying, uh, stay in your word, read your Bible. And, you know, like growing up, I never had that desire to party, to drink or none of that stuff. Now, in regards to like partying on the weekends, my weekends consist of self-development. I want to get better each and every day. If there's a day I'm not getting better, I feel horrible. It's bad. Like, you know, but like I feel bad and I don't want to feel that way. I want to feel great. I want to feel like I'm doing what I need to do to fulfill the kingdom. And I love to learn. I love to grow. I love to, you know, just better myself to get better each and every day. And one of those things is reading, reading. And I used to hate reading. Like I never in school, I would use spark notes and stuff like that. Like when a teacher said, you got to read this whole chapter of a book. No, like I was not doing that. I had comprehension issues. Like, and sometimes I still too, I deal with that like till this day sometimes. But what helped me is like, I started reading books that like helped me wanting to learn like self-development books, real estate books, <clears throat> And um, stuff like that. Mindset books, which is huge. Mindset is literally everything. It's everything. And what I also do is I downloaded Audible. So like I listen and I read at the same time and it helps so much more. And then sometimes the book doesn't have the audible uh, version. So I'll just read it. But like the more I read, the more like I really truly comprehend and it gets better and better each and every time. But as people is partying on the weekend, getting drunk you know, throwing up all that crazy stuff. I'm over here getting better and I'm learning different things, building knowledge to implement into my businesses and helping that to scale and build momentum even more while they're just wasting time, which, you know, that's cool because you really just got to focus on yourself at the end of the day. And I'm just so excited. Like I get so hyped, 
you know, to learn. I get so hyped to read, especially in the mornings. Like sometimes I'll block out an hour to two hours just to read in the mornings. And it's not just reading. It's also listening to podcasts. It's, you know, going out, talking to people, networking with like-minded individuals, right? That really are focused on that one goal, uh, which could be real estate, which could be business, entrepreneurship, whatever the case may be. Like I'm just so locked in. I don't got time to party. I don't got time to talk to people that aren't on that same journey right like i barely i barely be on my phone i barely be on social media except when i'm posting making my content i'm just so locked in and i'm excited like it gets me hype about it right and i know a lot of people they like to drink too so that they can escape their reality their current reality they like to get drunk and stuff to escape that it's like if you want to escape it so bad go and change your reality change your self-image start to love yourself like it really all starts from within. If you don't love yourself, then your whole life is just going to be negative. It's going to be a whole domino effect. You got to start with yourself. Start with self-care. Start with self-love. Start with reading self-help books. Start with your mindset. Get your mind right. And I honestly don't see a benefit to drinking at all. Like, go ahead and get yourself some sparkling water. That's what I do. If I'm going to a business dinner... I'll have sparkling water. I'll have regular water. If they're doing a toast, I'll toast with my water. You know, I want my mind right. When you're drinking your mind, you can say anything crazy. Like it could be anything and that could ruin a business deal. That could ruin a relationship. That could ruin your whole reputation. And you need to protect your reputation at all costs. So you need to make sure your mind's right. And that's why I've been eating right because even what we eat too, like you put in processed foods inside your body, that literally makes your mind so crappy where you can't even think right, you can't make right decisions. And that's just horrible. It's like, God did not create us to have that poor mindset. He wants us to be, you know, 100%. Like I said, having the right mindset, um, having the right physical body to be able to accomplish the things he wants us to do and that's where working out comes into play and like i know i'm just going off on a tangent but like guys if i were you y'all need to stop partying you know i i I do like to say focus it's like uh there's a saying work so hard in your 20s so you can relax in your 30s i honestly don't think even in my 30s I will be like retired or anything. Yeah, I'll relax, you know, but like, I love my job. When you love what you do and I, it doesn't even look like a job. It doesn't feel like a job. When you love what you do, you just keep doing it. And that's my mission, just to focus on God's purpose that he has placed inside my heart. So I hope this video helped you guys. Hopefully you stop drinking, you know, put the drinking down, put the smoking down. Like don't smoke, don't drink. That's just no no i don't know and if there's a lot of your friends that smoke and drink then you need to find a new circle you need to get around the right people but i'm gonna just leave it there hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up go subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace